Now let's review where the different values of R, L, G, and C come from in two realistic transmission lines. The two transmission lines that I want to look at are the coax, which you've seen before, and this microstrip. This is looking end on into the microstrip. There's a piece of metal below, there's a, there's a conductor or a piece of metal above, and there's some kind of insulation, typically a plastic, below that. The resistance comes from both the positive and the negative place that current can run. So it comes from here and here. It comes from this place, the, the positive conductor, and the negative conductor in the microstrip. So R is caused by the conductors. We model R as something that we call R prime times delta Z. R prime is going to be given in ohms per meter, and that is the resistance of this transmission line per meter. And then L is the inductance. L is also L prime times delta Z, and that is given in Henry's per meter, and that is the inductance within this transmission line itself. The conductance is related to the insulation. So here is where the conductance is, and that is also G prime times delta Z. The conductance is given in Mohs per meter, or 1 over ohm meters. It's really referring to how much leakage current you're going to have between your positive conductor and your negative conductor. And then C is capacitance, and that's the capacitance of your transmission line. You're familiar probably with both cylindrical capacitors like this one and with parallel plate capacitors like this one. The capacitance is also given in C prime times delta Z, and in that case, C prime is the farads per meter for this transmission line. In the next lecture, we're going to learn how to use the RLGC parameters and this model to be able to calculate the voltages and currents moving around within the transmission line.